can we take one minute to pray for Nigeria are we responsible enough to lend our contribution we have to pray the election is by the weekend it is everybody's business we are going to cry we need God to arise as a deliverer are we together yes I don't do partisan politics but it is my desire the prophetic and the apostolic represent the foundations upon which anything is built even in heaven where Satan is not there the foundation of the heavens has the 12 names of the apostles written there God designed his system such that after Christ the cornerstone the next that you meet is the apostolic and the prophetic that is a proper architecture for a building that is built such that the gates of hell shall not prevail that means for any nation that is built well the apostolic and the prophetic in partnership with the Holy Spirit have a right to speak let me show you a scripture and the elders of the Jews build it and they prospered not through the dexterity of their intelligence and architecture they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel hear me the God of Israel commanded it but he took the prophetic and the apostolic to speak it while they were building that's how it works there are people who will be voting but there are prophets who will be speaking and there is a God who commands are we together now to prophesy alone and fold your arms uh -uh, there must be builders even though God has granted Nehemiah favor you must stand on the wall of Jerusalem to build and the Bible says he built with such dexterity with one hand he held the sword because of the presence of men like Sambalas and Tobias the spirit of the Antichrist you will always find them within a system can you sing for us the national anthem of Nigeria in one minute do you still remember because many people don't know the national anthem again you must sing it whether you know it or not all right so listen listen very carefully it does not matter who wins if people die it is not worth it did you hear what I said whatever political party and what, whoever wins if somebody has to lose her child if somebody has to lose her life if an innocent person has to be maimed up and down because of the wickedness of people ladies and gentlemen it is not worth it the prayer more than just praying and say Lord intervene is let there be peace let every demonic manipulation of darkness to lead to death or violence Lord by the mercy of God let it not happen lift your voice and pray lift your voice in one minute father we cry for peace if someone prayed we cry for peace we cry for peace. 
we cry for peace every polling unit in the name of jesus we cry for peace Lord, let lives not be lost in the name of Jesus. Let lives not be lost in the name of Jesus. Anyone planning wickedness, anyone planning violence, any groups of persons walking to kill, to steal, to destroy. In the name of Jesus, we release the forces of judgment. We declare in the name of Jesus, that no plot to bring violence over the people in this land in the name of Jesus we declare it will not stand as responsible citizens in this nation we stand in partnership with heaven and we decree and declare grace hallelujah we are going to pray listen it is not just the president that is required to change this nation no matter how innocent or how wicked an individual is i tell you sincerely you need jesus himself the righteous had to surround himself before he started with 12 disciples because he needed people he could send two by two an individual on his own without a system that works if you have a president that works and you have governors that are corrupt and wicked and devilish house members don't forget that we're operating a democracy so it matters everybody and every position for election is our business don't just focus on presidency alone that is the mistake that many will make and then will allow all kinds of things a little living will spoil everything are we together now we are going to pray just one last prayer lord from the presidency down to local governments down to counselors down to house members the, you know at a state and federal level senators lord we pray anybody who does not mean this nation well root them out open your mouth and pray anybody who does not mean our nation well in the name of jesus we decree and declare may they not get to the throne from the presidency to the state level, the local governments, house members, state and federal. Lord, we pray that once again you breathe upon our nation. And in the name of Jesus, give us a chance to rise again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you because even for Nigeria, we pray, deliver us from evil. In the mighty name of Jesus. Saturday, oh God, we have the polls again to decide the next four years. Extending to the next, the next eight years of this nation. Lord, we cry in the name of Jesus. Beyond our wills and our desires, we tap into the wisdom of the spirit. You are the one who has seen through the eons of time. And oh God, among the candidates presented and among all the people, you are the one that knows those that will be able to lead us well. We will not judge by the flesh. We only cry by the spirit that you arise and help us as a nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we extend our prayers to all the arms and the tears of government. We pray, oh God, that Nigeria, like never before, will have righteous leaders who are sincere and serious. But Lord, more importantly, we pray and we cry unto you, let there be no violence. From the north to the south, the east and the west, the south, 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 east, south, west, north, east, north, central, north, west, let there be peace. We pray for INEC, we pray for the law enforcement agents, we pray for the judiciary. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and cry, let there be justice and equity. I lend my voice, O oh God, with every man, woman of God, everyone standing in the position of priesthood, crying and praying over this nation. We lend our voices and we lift it as a united team. We cry, Maranatha, let your program come. Maranatha, let the purposes of God come. 
in the name of Jesus Christ and father we pray that at the end of it when all is said and done please give this country peace give this country a chance to make progress in the name of Jesus